We've talked about salad and beets. Now let's talk about water and watermelon. Water is very important. Steam distilled water works the best on the cleanse because it leaches out all of the toxins from every system of the body. Now steam distilled water is imperative for the cleanse. Now you might find yourself in a position that you can't get steam distilled water, do the best that you can. If you have that choice, you can buy steam distilled water in the store or you can buy the distiller off the internet or I have them available at my clinic to be able to make it at home. Steam distilled water is the closest thing to rainwater and we need the water to be a solvent, to not only to dissolve the impurities in the body, but it also dilutes the toxins in the body for, and so it's not so hard on the kidneys. Um, it needs to be the closest thing to rainwater to be able to push these toxins through. Now watermelon. Watermelon is very important. Not only is it a humectant, but it also starts breaking up some of that plaque and that hard brown fat. Now on the program we eat one two inch slice of watermelon every morning and every night. So it's just slice it straight through. Make sure that you wash the sides of your watermelon before you, before you cut it so that you don't wash any impurities that may have come from the ground into the, into the watermelon. So now with these four things, the salad, the beets, the water, and the watermelon, and then the opportunity to be able to eat some of these different kind of foods, letting go of those other foods, these are the important parts to prepare you for your cleanse. The success of your cleanse is determined on how well you do this. Um, for at least three to seven days will give your body the opportunity to be able to release as much as it can during your first colonic so that when you start your herbs, you're going to be able to clean out some of the deeper material that could possibly cause degenerative disease and some ailments in the future. Now because we're starting a cleanse, we're going to let go of some of the foods that we've been eating a lot of that has gotten us to this point, like breads, sugar, coffee, tea, alcohols, meats, uh, cheeses, all of our milk products, all of our butters. We're going to take a break from those just for a little while to give our body an opportunity to be able to release some of the toxins and some of the buildup that's caused because of these foods. Because of that, I have written the book From Bin to Banquet. There's 85 recipes in this book to be able to assist you in eating lots of cellular rich foods, a lot of uh, deep enzyme rich foods with the salads and there's 16 different dressings recipes in there so you don't get tired of your salads. Some pâtés that are delicious, um, some refried beans that are made out of the sunflower seeds. It teaches you how to sprout. All of the things that you're going to need to be able to do a cleanse and what's necessary for you to be able to enjoy some of the flavors. I love to eat so by doing this cleanse it doesn't mean that you have to not enjoy your foods. Keep it simple, come prepared, and together we'll begin your journey towards better health.